Hey guys, welcome to day number three of the core and mobility program. We're starting today on the ground. We've got a pretty heavy focus on lower body flexibility today along with our core work, but let's start in a seated position with some hip openers. So have a seat on the floor. We're gonna take the hips open to about 90, knees bent to 90, sit up nice and tall, and we're just gonna rotate the hips in and out side to side. Try to keep your chest facing forward. So let's begin. chest forward, try not to rotate the torso too much. Have most of the movement coming from your hips. Just get things warmed up. Some of our hip mobility stuff today is gonna double as some of our core work with some hip cars. Very tough stuff. I think you guys are gonna like it. All right, so let's take both legs out to the left-hand side. I'm gonna start with a 90-90 glute stretch. So we want a 90 degree angle with the knee, 90 degree angle at the hips, 90 degree angle with the knee. Turn the chest to face over top of the right thigh. We're gonna reach long and forward. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. And get the chest going over top of the leg and down into a glute stretch. So once you're in position here, if it feels good for you, you can move a little bit side to side and Search for those tight, sticky spots in the glute. Watch that your heel doesn't slide in towards your body. Keep the knee at about 90 degrees to target some of the larger fibers of the glute and really find what's tight and get after it here. Nice little warm up. Mm -hmm. Move into the shoulders next. Okay, so from here, let's take the arms and walk all the way out to the left-hand side. And we're gonna put the elbow on the floor so we form a straight line between your torso and your right thigh. And then from here, we're just gonna do large circles with the shoulders. So we're gonna take the right arm and just back strokes, reach the arm up and overhead, stretch the whole side of the body and come all the way around in very large circles. Feel the shoulder stretching, side of the body stretching. Get a nice little spine and shoulder warm up here. Keep the eyes on the hand if you'd like, or facing forward, whatever works for you. Nice big circles. Try to move deliberately through all ranges of motion so you're not just kind of throwing the shoulder around. You want to make sure you have complete control of the motion the entire time and move it through those sticky spots. That's time and we're gonna switch over to the other side. So let's take both legs out to the right for the 90-90 to the right hand side. So 90 degree angle at the knee, hip and back knee. We're gonna reach the chest long and forward and stretch the glute muscle. And if it feels okay for you, you can move a little bit side to side and kind of explore what's tight and see if you can loosen that stuff up. Really feel the glute stretching out. Try to maintain that 90 degree angle with that front knee. So you can really feel the hip working. And then after this, we got that shoulder stretch and then we move into the tough stuff. So let's walk the hands all the way up to the right hand side and put the elbow on the floor so that you got a nice straight line between the thigh and the torso here. And then from here, we're gonna reach big circles with the shoulder. So reach all the way over, feel the whole side of the body stretch and move as deliberately through the biggest range of motion you can without pain and around. Just backstrokes, so all one direction, let's begin. Reach up and over, feel the whole side body stretch. Bring the arm all the way around. You can have the eyes follow the hand or just move what feels good to you. We're just getting things warmed up here. Ten seconds remaining here. Alrighty, 
So we're gonna come to a hands and knees. We got a hip car controlled articular rotation. So let's take hands and knees, bring your knees a little bit wider than your hips and really try not to lean to the right hand side. So we're gonna do all the circles in one direction. So from here, the left knee is gonna go out to the side and rotate back and around. So let's begin, I'll guide you through it. So take the left leg out to the side, lift as high as you can without shifting, turn the foot to face up to the ceiling and bring the leg all the way around without rocking to the side. Keep lots of control here, move slowly, through the icky, difficult range of motion here and try to keep both arms straight so we're not rotating from the torso, we're rotating just from the hips. Try to keep everything in the body still except for that hip. Big rotation back. Feel the core working, the hip working. It's tough stuff here. One more. All right. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other leg. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see me here. So same direction with the right leg. So we're gonna go out first, then up around, and then we're gonna have a quick cat and cow as a rest. And we're gonna do it again, but moving the legs in the opposite direction. So let's go ahead wide, bring the right knee out to the side first. Don't shift, rotate the foot up to the ceiling and back. Move through the largest range of motion you can. Try to keep the arms completely straight so you're not rocking back and forth. Control is the key here. Make sure you're not, not throwing the leg around unconsciously. You wanna be in complete control of the motion the entire time to get the most out of this. It's very normal to cramp in the hip. If you do, shake it out, jump in as soon as you're ready. Big circle. Probably have time for one more. Let's get it. All right, so we're gonna set up for just a basic cat and cow. Get the spine moving through its full range of motion. We're gonna start by tucking the chin around the back. Exhale, inhale, bring the shoulder blades together, arch the back and look up. Just going back and forth, getting the spine moving. Let's go ahead and begin. Trying to get the spine to move through its full range of motion the whole time. It's an amazing both morning stretch and before bed stretch. Okay, so we're gonna do hip cars round two. This time we're gonna go the opposite direction with the circle. So we're gonna start by pushing the knee straight back and up and then bring it up and around to the side without shifting your hips and keep everything still. So arms straight, no shifting. Well, let's begin. So leg back first, up and around, big circle. Keep the knee as high as you can without rotating the hips or pushing to the side. Let's go ahead. Moving from the hips and not the torso. Let's so keep the arms straight and have the hip joint doing the work and not the spine. So a good way to fix yourself on this one is put your hip against the wall. That way you can't lean even if you wanted to. So that would be on this side. Oh, all right. We're gonna do the exact same thing this time on the other arm, or other leg, sorry. So the right leg's gonna kick back first and then out to the side. Keep the leg high as you can without shifting to the left. So if you have a wall handy, just lean right up against the wall so you can't tip. And let's go ahead and kick the leg back. Come up, out to the side. Arms stay straight, hips stay stable. Let's work through it. Get as high up as you can. Get every single centimeter of range of motion that you can, or inch for the Americans. I'm Canadian, we use both. I prefer inches. Hot take, I know. All right, keep it high. All right, 
So from here, we're gonna come back to kneeling, have your bum sit right down to the heels. We're gonna bring the elbows to the floor, hands up by the head. And we're just gonna do alternating spine rotation. So bring one elbow up to the ceiling, use the bottom arm as leverage to open, and then we'll switch sides. We're just gonna go back and forth, just as a quick little rest and stretch the spine. Here we go. Open up. Make sure you use that bottom arm as leverage. Try to keep the bum down on your heels so that you're not rotating too much. We got some shoulder stuff and core stuff here. So we're gonna do a bear hold. So we're gonna come to hands and knees. Make sure your hands are directly below your shoulders. Knees are directly below the hips. Tuck your toes. And we're just gonna lift the knees about a half inch off the floor and just hover. So here we go. Hold this. Keep most of your weight in your arms. Try to get tall on the armpits, just like we did in that elbow push up pass from the last workout and just get nice and tall and hold. Have a little bit more of your weight in your hands than in your legs. And feel the shoulders, core, and legs work. Past the halfway mark. From here, we're just gonna spring the hips up into a downward facing dog. We're just gonna walk out the calves and feel the calf stretch. Should be getting a little bit tired here. We're almost there. and we're just gonna push the hips back into this downward facing dog position. We're just gonna walk out the calves. So bring one heel down to the floor and feel the calf stretch and then alternate. We're gonna be doing that for 40 seconds. So let's get ready here and let's begin. So walk out that down dog, feel the calf stretch, get the leg nice and straight, press the heels toward the floor really feel the stretch. You can reposition your feet, find what allows you to feel the stretch the most, and do that. I feel this behind the knee and in the calf. You might feel a little bit of a shoulder burn residual from those hands movements. All right. So from here, come back down to the hands and knees position. And we're just going to take the left foot and step it directly between the hands. So you're not moving your back foot, keep your, your, your foot where it is. And then you can rotate the back foot a little bit and plant the foot on the floor to find a pyramid pose. So we're stretching this left hamstring. And the goal here is to get the spine straight before reaching down. So get the back as straight as you can turn the hips to be squared forward. Press that leg into the floor. Feel the back of the leg stretching. Keep the spine long. If you can't reach the floor, you put your hand on your shin, like so. And just hold this position. Keep the spine nice and long. Stretch that hamstring. And we're just simply gonna switch sides after this. 10 seconds remaining. And we're just gonna switch the, the feet. So left leg steps back, right leg steps forward. You can turn the foot and plant the heel. Get that front leg straight, spine long. Feel the back of this leg stretch and we're gonna hold. Let's just go ahead and get ready. Get into position, spine long, leg straight. Feel the stretch all down the back of the leg here. Nice and straight with the back. Stay straight, straight through the spine as you can handle. It's better to reach long and forward than round the back and go down. Some really challenging next. Some Cossacks and some side planks for the final stretch here. All right. 
So let's go ahead and get set up in our Cossack. So we're gonna take a wide stance. So a good starting point is to have your feet as wide as your wrists. Try to keep your feet facing relatively forward. Bit of turnout is okay. Keep the leg straight. We're gonna squat down to one side, keep this leg, the one leg straight, then come tall through the center and go down the other way like so. So high transfers through the middle, get as low as you can. Try not to lift the foot, keep it flat until you can get a full closure with this knee. Once you can do that, then lift the toe. And it's okay if you can't make it all the way down, just go as low as your flexibility allows. And come up and down, keep the chest and hips facing forward, sink into it. These are tough. And one more here. All right, and we're gonna move into some side plank rotations. So we're gonna lie down on the, with the right elbow down. Let's have the right foot in front of the left, coming up into a side plank. And if you can't do the full rotations yet, just do and hold the side plank. And from here, we're gonna take the left arm and rotate under the body, turn the chest to face down and reach as far back through as you can without lifting your hips. So try to keep these hips down. So you're not lifting the bum in the air like this. We wanna keep it slow, body straight and reach through and up. We're gonna feel the side of the body. And again, if you can't, just see that regression. Just hold a basic side plank. Ten more seconds here. All right. And we're gonna do the other side here. So lie down, have the left elbow on the floor. Left foot is gonna be in front. And then from here, we're gonna lift the hips to a side plank. Right arm is gonna curl under the body. Try to keep your body as straight as you can without lifting hips. So let's go ahead and get ready. Side plank, top arm is gonna reach under. Turn the body to face down. Reach the arm through. Try not to lift the hips. Up we go. Almost there. All right. And finally, our last work is gonna be a low Cossack. So let's set up in those Cossacks again. Again, feet as wide as the wingspan. We're gonna start low in the Cossack and try to stay low as you go side to side. So try not to lift as you transfer from side to side. Keep the chest nice and upright and low and slow transfer across. Really feel the hips working and pulling you as you go across through the center here. It's a toughie. And we get to finish with a basic standing pike today to stretch out the hamstrings. Almost there guys, 10 more seconds. Right near the end. One more here. All right, and we're finishing things off with a basic standing pike. So let's stand with the feet together, legs nice and straight. I'm gonna fold forward from the hips, reach to the hands to the floor. If you can't reach the floor yet, just put your hands on your shins, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get ready. Two, one, and let's begin. Forward fold to finish things off today. Try to keep a little bit more weight in your toes than your heels. 60 40. Try to get some weight into the hands if you can. Straighten up the back as best as you can. Think about pulling the tailbone up to the sky. Really feel the back of the leg stretch. We got this. Final stretch of the day. All 
All right, amazing work today, guys. So let me know down below what kind of series you would like to see next. If there's something specific you wanna work on, maybe the splits, maybe some hamstrings, maybe some handstands. Let me know what you guys wanna see. I'll take all the suggestions, put them into a poll and see what we're doing next. See you guys next week. Cheers.